All right, I'm going to go over how to add a segmented arch to Vixen. Um, first, we're going to define the arch in our elements. Um, I have an arch defined here. I'll add a new one. We'll call it arch2. Um, now we need to, let's make a segmented arch with eight segments in it. So we're going to add eight elements underneath this. The easiest way to do that is uh, left click on arch2 and then right click and it'll pull up a pop-up menu. Pick add multiple here off the menu. And then the template type, we're going to use numbered items. We're going to call this um, arch2 hyphen. And then right here in the braces, this is going to get replaced by an incrementing number. We're going to have eight segments, so we're going to put names generate eight. You'll see up here it takes this format and it defines eight items for it. So I'll press OK. You'll see here there's uh, your arch two with eight elements underneath it. You can press OK and that saves it. Now we're going to configure our preview so we can visualize our arch. So open the previous configuration. We'll add a new preview, a Vixen display preview right here. It'll come up blank. Go back to your previous configuration screen. Make sure that preview just added is highlighted and click configure preview. It'll come up. I'm going to add a background to it. From my SkyDrive. And I'll turn the volume down a little here on the background. Now to add it, we're going to click on the arch two, click on the arch tool here in the, the toolbar, just draw our arch. Now you'll see right now it's defined as basically eight pixels because there's eight segments. That's the default. And we don't want it to look like that. We want it to look more like segments. So what we're going to do is over here in your properties, we're going to click on light count. And we're going to change this to be a multiple of eight, a multiple of the number of segments that you have in your arch. So I'm, I'm, I want to show basically four lights per segment, just so I can visualize something. Now, if you have, you know, 100 lights in your string per segment, you're not going to type 800 here. Um, that would just get ridiculous on the display, and it would look funny. Because wh what we're trying to do here in the preview is visualize what it will look like, you know, to the best of our ability. So we're going to, I'm going to put 32 here. I'm going to see four, seg four lights per segment. The light size, I'm just going to increase it so we can see it a little better. Now here's where we define what elements go to which lights. So I'm going to click on the ellipses here, and it'll pull up this screen. You'll see there's some predefined, because we clicked on Arch 2 over here. We're just we're going to replace those. Um, we're going to click on the plus here next to Arch 2 to see our elements. Now the easiest way to do that, every four of these, see 1 through 4, is going to be a single element of our arch. So every time this element fires, we want to see these four elements light up in our display. So what you do is you highlight the first one you want to define, hold shift, and click the last one, so four later. And I'm going to double click right here, arch2-2. Two and that'll define that element to what you had highlighted. And again, I'll click on 9, I'll left click, I'll hold shift and click on 12 to pick uh, four elements. Then I'll double click on that. And I'll just work my way down the list here. Two, four. Two, five. Six. Seven. So now we've defined all of our linked elements based on the elements we have defined earlier. Press OK here. So we're done. We're basically done in the screen. So we'll close it. We click OK to save the preview. And we are now going to define a new sequence, a time sequence. And we're going to drop some effects on here so we can see them. We'll add a chase. 
Um, we'll make this a little bit smaller so we can see it move faster. And we'll add a second chase right here. And then just for kicks, we'll add a nutcracker effect. Um, let's see, we're going to pick this to arch so we can see. So this is about what it'll look like. Um, although we'll have segments in our arch instead of just eight pixels. So I'll press OK there. And then watch the preview over here and we can see what it's going to look like. So that's how you add a multi-segmented arch to Vixen.